Happy holidays from our home to yours. This mm -hmm. is your Twin Flame Collective Weekly Card Reading. Mm -hmm. Holiday version. Holiday version. Okay, shall we start with the masculine or the feminine this week? Yeah, I still think it's over here. I feel that way yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first card we have for the feminine mm -hmm. is number 29, healing. All right, and it says the frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have healing. And what I'm gathering from this card for the divine feminine, you know, where during its holiday season, and in the holiday season, there might be a lot of feelings arise wherever you're at in your twin flame union. And I can just share a little bit of a backstory with me. But when I was, you know, let me uh, hold the card. But when I first woke up to my twin flame journey and I was working on, you know, diligently healing through the, the separation, there was a lot of like loneliness in that. And there was probably two Christmases where I spent alone. And of course, that's by choice. You know, I was just very focused on my healing work, but I was longing for my twin flame, that togetherness. And I knew that as long as I continued to persist and I just loved myself through that feeling of loneliness or those uncomfortable feelings, that that would not be my um, constant state of being. I knew that I would transition out of that. And I did. So for the divine feminines, wherever you're at in your journey, if you're moving through any kind of feelings of loneliness or, you know, missing your divine masculine, know that they're with you now. And that's what this journey is teaching you is to realize that uh, the separation is a, an illusion. It's not real. You might see it in your reality, but that's just an indication of where it is that you're healing that uh, separation within yourself. Yeah. Okay. And then through the, the middle part of the week, we have 43 chins. 43 transition. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as you allow yourself to process your feelings, you are transitioning. You're transitioning from that state, that illusion of separation into that knowing of your union. And you already know it in your heart. It's just moving from those places of doubts into that full on knowing that this is my twin flame. And we are together now, not later, but now. And as you really know that in the core of your being, that's when it manifests in your reality, which leads into our card towards the end of the week. And it's number 40, soul time. And you can see there's an infinity symbol here. If I turn it, oh, get the light in there. But yeah, there's an infinity symbol. And this communicates a deepening into your union and allowing that to cultivate or manifest, I should say, into the physical. And this is after the inner work that has been done. Allow yourself to dive deep, fill all of your feelings, claim your support, be with those loved ones, you know, and yeah, just keep going. Yeah, it kind of reminds me for the, on the transition card of like mm -hmm. um, a snake has to, uh, kind of like a snake shape a little bit, mm -hmm. like, they need to shed skin to be able to live or even survive, right? So mm -hmm. we have to change. We have to move out of the old. Yeah. And this is the perfect time, like coming, you know, into the new years. And yeah, so shed that skin. Yeah. And I just want to add to that too. The old is the the patterns, the misbeliefs, the illusion that you're separate. And that's what it is that you're shedding. Mm -hmm. And so where you're currently at is not where you're going to be, you know, even a week from now, mm -hmm. everything can change at the drop of a dime. It can change in an instant just mm -hmm. by you choosing to fully surrender into your truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On to the divine masculine. All right. So we have a number nine allowance which is number nine endings, right? Coming into new beginnings. So we have a lot of that happening. Yeah. But uh, the divine, divine masculine, there's going to be like a deeper level of allowing in support, help, and maybe being vulnerable, right? Because because kind of like the masculine often like want to do it themselves, kind of like maybe don't even know. And I think I was I was talking to some clients today, and sometimes it seems like 
with our generation almost it's kind of like we're we're kind of uh, what, what would the word be we're kind of wonky here like we're you know i'll do it myself yeah we we've right. been raised by the another generation that's you know kind of they had their hardships so that kind of like turned into you know us growing up and mm -hmm. so it's not wanting to maybe receive help or support or well you know I, i'm just going to do it myself and you know mm -hmm. i don't want to be vulnerable i don't want to be open and these things but there's going to be an opening of that and yeah that feels really good and yeah uh, allowing that expansion in that way mm -hmm. and then we have number 17 consciousness so there's going to be a deeper level of um partnership with the divine in whatever way you see it, God, universe, love, in a deeper way of seeing that relationship, how it works, like, you know, you're not alone in it. So that mm -hmm. also comes in from that, receiving the support, right? Seeing how that really works in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that feels really good coming into that. And I feel like maybe that also, the masculine also maybe sees the deeper oneness with the twin flame and the union with mm -hmm. that sharing of consciousness yeah right isn't it weird yes yeah can you hear me <laughs> yeah. all right and then we have number 12 change so a lot of change going on here yeah so definitely something new going on and it's kind of like coming in from you know these endings you know allowing in and then really um yeah we got the circle mm -hmm. um, going on there but yeah, it's really a time for like just letting go of all that old, shedding the skin, kind of like what the feminine is doing over there. Mm -hmm. It's really time for a new beginning, like all the newness, allowing it all in. Yeah, we're leading in or heading into a new year, mm -hmm. which is new beginnings, new cycles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as we move forward, things will just continue to get better mm -hmm. and uh, me miracles manifesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So allow allow to change mm -hmm. and when you allow it can happen you know this card talk about uh gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality and when we allow and when we surrender into it it's gonna be very easy mm -hmm. and light instead of you know oh yeah God, i don't know i'm not sure if i want this but change is always good so you know mm -hmm. who you are <laughs> yeah. okay yeah. and so for the angel guidance mm -hmm. this week the first card that we have from the Romance Angels deck is Honeymoon. Ooh. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And this leads off perfectly. Something else that I wanted to say about these readings is you can see week after week, the masculine and the feminine are moving through the exact same things. Mm -hmm. You are mirroring your twin flame perfectly and vice versa. And it's important that you see that. And you feel that to be true for you because that goes to show you there's no separation. You're moving in unison forward with your twin flame. And at some point on your journey, wherever you're at in your journey, that's going to come together physically and you'll continue moving forward in unison. Mm -hmm. So this card is communicating honeymoon. Be with your twin flame in your heart. Be with your twin flame physically if that's where you're at on your journey enjoy your time together and if you are still experiencing separation visualize your the holidays together like visualize what your shared life is going to look like mm -hmm. how that would feel and and romance yourself you know light some candles just uh, have yourself a hot cup of cocoa watch a really cozy christmas movie and envision your twin flame sitting there with you doing all of these beautiful activities and knowing that it's inevitable like there's nothing to be you know sad about like feel your feelings but know that you know who your twin flame is you know who your one true love is that's a gift in itself you know compared to the entire world if you just know who your twin flame is that's everything because you know that this is who i'm i'm destined to be with this mm -hmm. is it and that's amazing mm -hmm. And then the, the second card for angel guidance this week, it says unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay. And what this card is communicating. You can hear the uproar. I know it's not bad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what this card is indicating is you, the one watching this video. And I say this because I experienced this too, but 
there's going to be, be some feelings of feeling that the twin flame dynamic in your union is sometimes one-sided mm -hmm. or feeling like you're doing all of the work and you're the one that's loving them, but what's going on on that, on the other side, you know, why are they not making you a priority or, you know, showing up for you in this, in the same way that you are for them, but they are, it just looks different. Mm -hmm. And it's not a one-sided love. That's insane. You know, in your heart that they feel the same for you. You know that to be true for you. And that's where you want to relax is into that truth and shed those, those doubts, those lies, those misbeliefs. It's a, it's not a one-sided love. It's very much a mutual, deep, passionate, romantic love. You yeah. want to add anything to that? No, but I wanted to put a challenge out there. Okay. Yeah. You know, during this holidays, pick out like one new self-care activity to do. Hmm. So let us know in the comments what you pick and we yeah, we'll look forward to seeing that. That's awesome. Yeah, we, mm -hmm. we need to get, you know, go be better at self-care. Definitely. So that should be also like a New Year's resolution mm -hmm. and actually doing it this time, you know. Yeah, you yeah. got to fill your cup up. Remember, this is this journey in itself is about, um, you know, you prioritizing your mm -hmm. needs, wants and desires. And that's what uh, attracts your twin flame to you. So this is great. Yeah. Self-care challenge. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. And next week, look forward to a very special edition New Year's reading. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're going to take it a bit deeper. Definitely. Yeah. It's good. All right. Mm -hmm. So don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Have a beautiful week.